Uh, so I'm a single parent. I, uh, I have a five-year-old son, and he's one of the main reasons I'm running for mayor. Uh, he takes up every other weekend of my time, and I just absolutely love it. Um, when I'm with him, uh, we go to Franklin Institute, we go to parks. Um, you know, Phoenixville's a wonderful place for, for raising a kid. Uh, it's one of the reasons I want to be the mayor of, of this awesome town. So I want to be mayor because we just, uh, as a town, committed to renewable energy, becoming a, a town that's 100% renewable by 2050. I would love to beat that goal. I would love to just be a cheerleader of uh, moving towards renewable energy. Um, I was endorsed by the Sierra Club uh, because of my commitment to renewable energy and making sure that Phoenixville actually follows through uh, on that Ready for 100 pledge. Uh, another thing is, uh, you know, Phoenixville is getting very expensive. It's difficult for people of normal means to stay in Phoenixville. And if we don't do something about it as a borough, uh, then it's just going to continue to grow out of control. And normal people are going to have to be imported so that we can work, you know, at Giant or wherever else. So I would love us to actually take a commitment to making affordable housing a reality in Phoenixville for the long term. Um, Another major issue is that when people want to get involved uh, in borough politics or they just want to find out information about where their tax dollars are going, it's really cumbersome. It's very difficult to find out what kind of information uh, is out there, what's been dealt with in committees and by borough council. I'd love to make it just more accessible. People have a hard time getting to the information um, that is, is there, but it's just hard to find. So I'd like to make it um, much more accessible for people. Uh, so as a single parent, uh, I, I know what it's like to, uh, to just struggle to make it. Uh, I know what it's like to, to actually just, you know, care about your child and make sure that they get to school and they get a good education. They eat more than just macaroni and cheese. Um, you know, I'm, as, as a parent, I just, I, re I resonate with a lot of other parents in Phoenixville. I also, um, you know, I'm, I'm not one of the in crowd. I'm not one of the, the insiders. So I know how difficult it is to be an informed resident. Um, and I've, I've also been involved in a couple of, um, a couple of local organizations like the um, Phoenixville Youth Aid Panel, uh, which is for students, uh, kids who get in trouble uh, for the first time. And then they, uh, they don't, instead of going through the court process, sometimes they can be referred to the Youth Aid Panel. Uh, which is uh, which is a great resource for kids to to keep them out of like you know, out of serious trouble. Uh, get them before they get into much worse trouble. Um, so you know just things like that. You know just making sure that our our young residents uh, grow into productive members of our community. So the greatest challenge uh, I've already touched on a little bit is I think affordable housing. Another major issue that we're that we're struggling with is, um, or that we could struggle with if the wrong person is elected mayor, um, is how are we dealing with our neighbors who didn't who weren't born in America? Um, how do we deal with our immigrant neighbors um, and just making sure that we continue our current practices with the police force so that we are not. Um, so that parents of, of children who weren't born here don't have to worry about their kids getting to school or worrying about their kids coming home or going to work and you know, their kids not having a parent to come back to. Um, it's incredibly important. And our current policing practices, I believe, are the right policing practices for Phoenixville. So I would love to just continue uh, our current practices to make sure that we, um, that we protect all of our neighbors. I'd like to tell the voters that um, in 20, after 2016, one of the reasons I ran as a Green uh, was because 2016 just happened. Uh, the two-party system is beat up and it's antiquated and it's, um, it's local politics where independents can really start to make a difference. It's local politics where it only, it's, it's only going to take a thousand votes and a thousand people who are convinced to, uh, to vote their conscience, to, to, to do something about the two-party system that doesn't represent uh, the vast majority of us, you know, the 99% of us. Um, so this is an opportunity for people to really take, a, you know, take into, into consideration that there's a, there's a viable third party in this town and in this county, and that they can actually do something about making, uh, making the Green Party 
uh, or not just a Green Party, but just making sure that the two-party system doesn't dominate every aspect of every level of government. Just to highlight some of those points that I already articulated is I'm endorsed by the Sierra Club. The reason why they endorsed me is because of my commitment to renewable energy and sustainability. Um, and I want to create an environmental advisory council. I couldn't do it as the mayor because I can't legislate. But what I can do is I can encourage borough council to legislate and create an environmental advisory council so that there are experts leading us towards sustainability. Um, the, another aspect of just accessible government, the technology already exists uh, for us to, to make our government more accessible to Phoenixville residents. It's just a matter of implementing that technology and making it, um, making it available to, to our residents, and they deserve it. They pay the taxes for it, so they should know what's going on. Uh, the last piece is just um, accessible community. I, I'm an able-bodied resident, and I want to see Phoenixville make a commitment as a borough, not just relying on the nonprofits, which are doing a phenomenal job of, of making our borough more accessible, but as a borough committing to making it accessible for people with disabilities, um, people who live with physical disabilities and intellectual disabilities, to make sure that we're doing everything that we can uh, to encourage local businesses and to, uh, to make the sidewalks you know, walkable. Um, just making sure that we're incentivizing and, and guiding the borough towards accessibility in general. So I'm Nate Craig, and I'm the Green Party's candidate for mayor of Phoenixville.